sick. Camilla Tomini skin crawl over yucky has and Meg's chemistry at wedding, make me goose bumps. It was October 2016 when I managed to glean that Harry was going out with Meghan Markle, who was an American actress. And that was quite a significant scoop for me and for the newspaper. Camilla Tomini, the Telegraph's associate editor, broke the story of Prince Harry's romance with Meghan, and was given a courtside seat to cover the couple's wedding two years later in May 2018. In this video, Camilla talks us through a day that raised the country's spirits as the nation came together to watch this thoroughly modern royal wedding of a couple deeply in love. This is the third episode in a video and podcast series from The Telegraph, featuring the stories of our journalists who have had front row seats at monumental moments in history. Meghan Markle just doesn't want to visit the UK, a royal expert has suggested, amid delays to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's return to Britain. There has long been speculation over when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will next visit the UK, with many expecting the royal couple to return home for the Queen's Jubilee later this year. But recent concerns over Harry's security have thrown their return visit into question, with Prince Harry saying the lack of police protection has left him unable to return home. The 37-year-old royal recently applied for a judicial review of a Home Office decision not to allow him to pay for his own police protection while he and his family are in the UK. Harry claimed he applied for police protection in January 2020 when he visited the UK, offering to pay for it personally, but said the offer was dismissed. In a statement, a legal representative for the royal said the UK would always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. But royal expert Camilla Tomini has suggested that perhaps Meghan Markle categorically doesn't want to return to the UK. Writing about Prince Harry's request for personal police protection, Ms Tomini said, Yet as many royal commentators, and indeed former royal bodyguards have pointed out, the couple will automatically be enveloped into the Met's policing of the Jubilee because it's an official event. It was the same when Harry came over for Prince Philip's funeral. What this seems to be about is the policing of the couple's private visits to the UK- but surely by their very nature, they pose no significant security risk. Writing in The Telegraph, she added, Celia Walden wrote a shrewd piece in these pages on Tuesday in which she suggested that Bored Harry is trying to tell us he wants to come home. But maybe what the Sussexes are really trying to tell us is that Meghan categorically doesn't. Only time will tell. While Prince Harry has returned home twice, Meghan has not returned to the UK since the couple stepped back from senior royal duties in March 2020 and moved to California. The Duke of Sussex came to the UK in April 2021 to attend Prince Philip's funeral. be enveloped into the Met's policing of the Jubilee because it's an official event. 
It was the same when Harry came over for Prince Philip's funeral. What this seems to be about is the policing of the couple's private visits to the UK- but surely by their very nature, they pose no significant security risk. Writing in the Telegraph, she added, Celia Walden wrote a shrewd piece in these pages on Tuesday, in which she suggested that bored Harry is trying to tell us he wants to come home. But maybe what the Sussexes are really trying to tell us is that Meghan categorically doesn't. Only time will tell. While Prince Harry has returned home twice, Meghan has not returned to the UK since the couple stepped back from senior royal duties in March 2020 and moved to California. The Duke of Sussex came to the UK.